Today I'm going to melt some lead out of these used bullets from a shooting range. Because lead has such a low melting temperature, I'm able to use a propane torch to melt the lead out of the copper, because propane alone is not hot enough to melt copper, so it's only hot enough to melt the lead and leave the copper jacket behind. It'll melt the copper jackets in the later video. For bullets like this one that have a full copper jacket, I need to cut it before I can melt the lead out. There's no way for the lead to escape if there's no hole in the copper jacket. Now that the lead's all been melted out, I'm going to try making a big ingot with the blob that I've made, some lead that I've melted previously, and some scrap lead that I've melted before. Because I have much more lead to melt, I'm going to use an oxyacetylene torch instead of a propane torch. I didn't skim the slag off of this bar of lead, so it doesn't look as pretty as the next one's going to be. Now that I have this bar of lead, I'll be able to use it for lost PLA casting in the future.